Okay, hello people, this is Amateur Engineering. Today, I'm going to be, um, this is part one of my, uh, iPhone and iPod, uh, game development, um, simple game development videos. Uh, you could also make it for the iPad if you'd like. We're going to be making a simple Pong game, tennis, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, so first, let's get started. We're going to need these four pictures. I'll try to do this in as few bi videos as possible. These four pictures, I'll probably post a link for the download. One for the background, you don't really need it, but it's just nice. You can make it in paint real, really easy. Um, 320 by 480 to fit the background. A ball, any size you would like. Uh, I did mine like 15 by 15. And two paddles, one for the player and one, um, one for the uh, computer. And I just... Uh, about 5 height by 60 or 65, any size you would like though. So we're going to make be making like a full featured game with a start, home screen, uh, possibly um, a loading screen, but um, let's get started. Go to Xcode, new project, view base, we'll call it game. First, we're going to want to import all these. Um, we're going to resources and add. So they're there, we don't have to mess with that right now. We're also gonna want to add and add a new file, um, a UI View Controller subclass. Do not check that any of these off. I'm gonna call it uh, second. And um, here's the start screen. Like you can press start and then go to the game. Here's where the game's gonna be. So um, first, uh, we don't really need much in here. Just uh, you can add whatever content you want. I'm just gonna make it simple. We're gonna do um, an IB action. IB action next, and uh, we're gonna declare that right here. IB action next, next. Um, um, so we're gonna do self pre present model view controller uh, second. Uh, animated, yes. Sorry, I totally forgot to do one thing. Um, here, we have to do at class for the second. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. We need that um, for the class. That's second. And we need to do an IB outlet. Um, second. And we'll call it second. And, um... Then we just need um, to, it's good to synthesize that. I mean, do add property non atomic retain for memory management. Um, second. Um, oops. Um, second. So, and now we just have to synthesize that in here. So um, let's just build that. You always want to build every so often just to make sure you don't have any problems. Um, what did I do here? Oh, that's probably the whole problem. Yep. So that's what we need here. Oops. And um, so now we can go into second.h and... I'm actually going to just copy and paste this code um, for because uh, it's kind of boring just to see you watch me type. You might want to pause the video right here uh, so you can write it down. Here we're making IB outlets for UI image views for the ball, the player pedal, and the computer pedal. Here we're making a UI label for tap to start. It'll come up, it, it'll say tap to start, you'll tap, and the game will start. And we'll declare that in the second.m. And we'll do IB outlet. UI label for the that will show the computer score and the player score. Here we need a CG point for the ball velocity, how far the ball will be able to bounce and um, how fast and such. And here NS integer for the game state and two other NS integers that will record record the player score value and the computer score value. And here we're just doing a property non time contain for all of them. And here we're doing a void for reset and new game. When someone loses, it'll go, it'll reset everything, and you can tap, and a new game will start. Um, 
we also have to do um, another IV action back so we can go back to the home screen um, so um, now uh, we can actually start in the dot M uh, first um, we're gonna be wanting to um, actually um, let's just start in the resources by going to the game view controller dot XIV let's build this to make sure there's no errors uh, that's fine so um, now let's just build it and um, here will be the first view and we actually need to drag in a view controller and a view and remember when we did at class and the class is second okay so let's go to the first one again and drag um, second to second and drag the view into the view so um, um, now we can just make a round rect button I'm going to make this simple start and you can drag oops, um, next to start so and touch up inside this one up in the back we'll say back and um, here we'll click on second so we can connect the back to the oops sorry um, back to back touch up inside and we can make that um, custom so now um, we can go into media we can actually drag in a um, a image view sorry if I'm going a little fast uh, I don't want to make it too long and in the next video so click on that layout click say um, actually oops so first we have to go in here and the background will be the table and we'll have to click on that um, layout send to back so that will show up and in the second video we'll be um, defining everything uh, this video is pretty much just getting started and um, now we need two um, image views for the paddles um, and one for the ball so that one will be ball um, we can resize that to 15 by 15 nice little ball right there and here it will make this um, the computer um, and we'll make this the player so um, now go into there make it like f f um, 60 by 5 oops Oops. Lost it. Make that the same by five. Put them in a nice position. Um, right there. And now we'll need three labels. One for tap to start. Make that big. Um, and make that words nice and um, about that big. Now we need two more. One for the um, computer, and one for the the player. Oops, didn't want to do that. Um, so we'll put computer, uh, up here. Um, actually we'll put it right there. And, um, we'll put, um, we'll set these to zero. You don't really have to put that, but I just felt like it. 
and we'll just put that. So now we're going to connect everything here. The ball to the ball. Oops. The computer paddle to the computer paddle. The um, computer score to the computer score. The player paddle to the player paddle. The player score to the player score. Tap to start to tap to start. And that's all I need here. Um, so you can just save that. And um, the next video we'll be getting into um, the touches began. And um, some game states. Defining some game states. So I'll see you then. Um, watch part 2.